All right, we're gonna start again with the open brostrum procedure, best way to get back to sport. These are my relationships. So we're all familiar with this type of injury we see in professional, college, and in everyday uh, athletes. And how do we treat this problem when they have chronic instability? When we're talking about chronic instability, it's important to define what we're talking about. Functional instability is motion beyond the voluntary control, but not necessarily exceeding physiologic range of motion. Most of those people will get better with the therapy that was previously beautifully described. But when you have mechanical instability, motion beyond the normal physiologic limits of the ankle joint, you have increased anterior lateral laxity and those patients need surgery. Now, chronic surgery options, anatomic repair is always the best. I'm gonna tell you why open is better than arthroscopic and why you should avoid non-anatomic. Now, we have to get a lot of credit to Bill Hamilton. He re <coughs> repopularized the Brostrom procedure with his ballet dancers and taught us really the best way to do it. It's a reefing of the torn tail fibra, anterior tail fiber and calcaneal fiber ligaments that restores the anatomic stability and then the Gould modification. All patients arthroscopically are evaluated first. The reason for that is and we've done several studies published. In this one, we had 93% joint abnormalities in patients that were treated for lateral instability and 60% osteochondral lesion. Another paper we published in the Barostrum also showed 95% associated intraarticular abnormalities and 25% osteochondral lesion. So after we do the arthroscopic approach, I go under the, the uh, covers with the nurse. We take out the thigh support, put the little uh, pad in the bed, put a little bump in there, and then we reprep and drape the leg and then use all new instruments. Now the options for doing a brostrum procedure, you can reef the ligaments, leaving a cuff of tissue on the fibula. You can shorten the ligaments, you can drill a hole in the fibula, or you can use suture anchors. I like a longitudinal incision. I do not like the OLA incision. The longitudinal incision allows you to extend it proximally and distally, particularly to treat perineal associated problems. Then you use an oblique incision in the capsular ligaments here. Now the key to this whole operation is to find this, this soft spot between the syndesmotic ligament and the anterior talofibular ligament. You put your clamp under there. And once you're under that area, you protect the perineal tendons and you make your oblique incision. This shows making the oblique incision with electrosurgery all the way down through the calcaneofibrial ligament. I tighten both ligaments almost every time. Once you do that, you use an absorbable permanent suture to do a pants over vest suture. Now what that does is it not only tightens the ligament, but it gives you a double layer repair. Then you get your third layer repair by advancing the superior perineal retinaculum, extensor retinaculum. They're in a cast for two weeks and then they, if you trust them, you can put them in a boot and then start physical therapy at four to five weeks. Now, if you look at the long-term results over the years, they've been very good with the Brostrom procedure. A little more recently, Choi had 65 patients with good results, but he did identify factors associated with a poor result, including a widened syndesmosis, osteochondral lesions, and ossicles. That's been our experience. Lee also looked at return to play in 18 elite athletes. It took him four months for 83% to return and eight months for 100% return. So in conclusion, the Brostrom Gould anatomic reconstruction is way by far the best choice for most patients. Occasionally, in certain patients, particularly revision surgery, you may have to augment your repair with a semitendinosus allograft. Now, regardless of the procedure you use, do not over tighten the repair and capture the ankle. Anatomic ankle motion must be maintained as much as possible. Thank you very much.